ericmothethmother.com. It is Sunday the 17th, and if you take a look at this based on a UTC time, Coordinated Universal Time, that's the time right there, but I'm in Central Time, USA. If you take a look at the time, time is 6.50. And so I want to show you the real-time trading for the cryptos, some of the main ones. And we can see here the trading live trade. And we are coming off a very big day as of trading in terms of uh, the 24 hour time where Bitcoin went as high, I believe it was as high as 19, almost 19,500, maybe a little bit more or less. So now it is showing that the day has changed based on UTC time. But the reality is that Bitcoin is trading almost 2,000 points above Friday's range. And again, the time right now, that's the time based on Central Time US. All right, so let's take a look at the charts. And on the hourly for Bitcoin, what I'm seeing here is, well, let me just show you. So if you take the highs on the hourly, you take this hourly high and you can touch these highs here on the hourly RSI. You see that over the last day or so, the last couple of hours, we've come back and we've hit that twice. Now it's hard to see there on the hourly. Let me expand this. Now you can see it a little bit clearer. And what we are looking at here on the hourly right now looks like a double top. And also it is forming uniform activity rejection after moving above the 69.1 threshold. Now, this might look a little different from your charts and I'll tell you why. It is because I am using RSI setting of 26, which I use for time frames smaller than the daily. So the hourly, the 30 minutes and the minute charts, I tend to use 26 as the RSI setting so as to remove a lot of the noise, so to speak. Now, there is also another line, interestingly enough, which goes back to a recent break on the hourly. So if you draw this line right like that, what we get is a break here, which is off those highs. Now, if we extend that line, you can see how it becomes relevant. Do it like that. And this line has been resistance quite f since that break. You can see here, hit that line twice, which gave us the highs actually, let me see, the highs there and there. And then we hit that line here for those hourly highs. And again here for those hourly highs. And now this has hit the line twice. So combine that with the previous line, which gave us the top side resistance. It looks like this is a logical place for traders to start getting a little bit on the sus suspicious side that this could be due for a pullback because of this double top rejection the more it continues holding. In other words, the more Bitcoin on the hourly is trading below 69.1, the more there is the possibility of a pullback of some size, maybe even recording some major highs. Now, the key though is whether or not the daily breakout can continue. So this is the key. For example, here we are taking a look at Coinbase by way of GDAX and we can see that the buy point here on a breakout level was 17,730. In other words, as long as this daily breakout continues to hold, then the bulls are in control. If you're bullish as far as Bitcoin is concerned, this is a price to watch. Anything above this means that the breakout is successful. We can anticipate higher prices. At the same time, those who are bearish would like to see this break down below 17.730 as far as GDAX is concerned. Because so that's the previous daily closing high on the GDAX exchange. If you want to take a look at the other price levels to watch on whatever exchange you are looking at. So this is the one for GDAX. And of course you can see the others for Bitfinex, a Bitstamp. Those are the previous daily closing highs before the recent breakout and of course on Kraken. So those are the different levels. I'm just using the one for Coinbase 
as a reference point. So as long as we are seeing the recent daily breakout hold, as long as that daily breakout can continue holding, we can anticipate much higher prices for the cryptocurrency, especially for Bitcoin, because we are still looking at the RSI on the daily continuing to hold above 69.1, which is a sign of strength. We continue observing that the weekly continues to remain very strong. Weekly has been holding back above 69.1 over the last four or five weeks. So the weekly remains strong as long as the weekly RSI is above 69.1. We always anticipate a sideways to bullish market, which is the case right now. And of course, the monthly chart continues to be very, very strong. Again, as long as the monthly RSI is above 69.1, you can expect this market to continue being sideways to outright bullish. So as we saw on the hourly, right now the challenge comes from the top side resistance line. This is a line that the Bitcoin needs to move above these lines, both lines. It has to clear both lines if it is to see higher prices. And that is not out of the realm of possibility. In other words, a breakout above those two prices would actually only serve to accelerate the current price. But right now we can see that clearly this is a levels of consideration for resistance, suggesting that as long as this is showing resistance, we can anticipate short term, hour to hour, sideways to down market. There's also another view. If you take a look at the hourly, and this is a three hour it's kind of confusing, but what this is, is a um, RSI setting of 26. And the hourly is set at three hours. So instead of what the hour to hour chart is three hour to three hour time frame. And what you get out of this is an interesting perspective. And again, pointing to short term resistance, maybe major resistance. We don't know until time. Only time will tell us how serious this resistance is. But if you take the previous support line, extend it, you end up with this break here, which is off those highs. We take that information and extend that line. Should look something like that. And you can see that this has resistance once before here in those intraday highs and then now we've come back and hit that level when Bitcoin was trading let's call it around the 19 4,000 to somewhere around there so hour to hour we are seeing resistance is what I'm saying but the key the key takeaway should be whether or not it is holding above the daily breakout level so as long as it's holding above these price levels on whatever exchange you are looking at as long as it's breaking out and holding above these price levels that's bullish for the currency otherwise failure to hold above these levels is going to be definitely a warning sign especially for those who trade the market from a technical standpoint once they see that the daily has failed to hold the breakout if it fails to hold the breakout they will start getting out and mass otherwise that's my view for now Eric Mwather with Mwather.com and this is the current live trading on December 16th at 17.10 Eastern Time. Otherwise, peace and blessings. E-A-C-S. Yes. Mwah. Woo.